Black holes are like space-time whirlpools in more ways than one. Not only do they pull space-time down to them, they also twist it around. This phenomenon, called frame-dragging, is a notoriously difficult to measure, but fascinating part of our universe. To prime your intuition, let's first talk about the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect is responsible for some of the strange trajectories that thrown objects have when you're on, say, a carousel. Here's an excellent example from TSG Physics on YouTube. From the demonstrator's perspective, if something starts out stationary in their perspective, it stays that way. However, the moment an object starts to move inward towards the axis of rotation, it experiences a force which causes apparent deflection from the original trajectory. However, it's clear that in the case of the Coriolis effect, this force is really a pseudo-force. It's merely the result of the ball actually traveling in a straight line and the frame moving away from it. Interestingly, this is precisely mirrored by frame dragging, so much so that the equations that describe the Coriolis force and frame dragging have identical forms. Here we have the formula for frame dragging, and here we have the formula for the Coriolis effect. So let's consider the consequences. If you hang a plumb bob above a rapidly spinning black hole, it'll just sit there. Frame dragging will not cause it to deflect at all, just like the Coriolis effect. However, if you then cut the string, the bob will begin to fall and deflect in the direction of rotation. In fact, around a spinning black hole, there's a region called the ergosphere in which you can only orbit in one direction. You'd have to move faster than light to orbit against the rotation. An interesting upshot of this is that energy can be extracted from a rotating black hole in something called the Penrose process. I have a video on this, and it's linked in the description. So why does all this happen? Well, it has to do with what causes gravity. It's well known that mass and energy cause space-time to curve, but that's not the full story. In fact, space-time curvature is sourced by something called the stress-energy tensor, which involves momentum as well. Now, in many cases, we think of the momentum as being zero in a suitable choice of reference frame. However, for a spinning body, there is no non-rotating reference frame where every piece of the body has no momentum. And this is precisely the source of frame dragging. The angular momentum captured in the stress-energy tensor for a spinning body induces extra curvature that wouldn't be there for a stationary body.